I'm not cut out for exercise. Hey guys, welcome. I am doing the Do I Have That Book Trope Challenge. I was tagged to do this by the original creator of this, which was Robbie from Hand His Nose Stuck in a Book. I will link his video down below. I'm dreading it. I'm not excited. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. So it's the same as Do I Have That Book Challenge, but this is specifically focusing on book tropes. I am having to lean over because my camera does not go that high. But this is focusing on specific book tropes. You'll see how it works. It's a time challenge. There are only two rules, I think. One, you can only use one book per prompt and you, um, if you don't have a book, you add a minute onto your time. So that's going to be exciting. I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, again, I'm going to have to do this timed via you. So when you hit a minute in four, six, five seconds, I'm going to go. Three, two, one, go. Right. Uh, oh shit. Where is it? Oh, uh, a book with a love triangle, which is a book with two love interests. Oh, 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 one I've read recently. Is it that one? Yeah. Uh, shit, that's not gonna work. Uh, a book with enemies to lovers. Where's it gone? Oh, it's there. Uh, a book with the chosen one. Mm, can't do that one, can't do that. Uh, a book with found family. Paziza, where is it? Uh, a book with a character with grey morality. I'm not good at grey morality. That's very fantasy. I don't have fantasy books, really. Um, who's grey? Oh, that'll count. Okay. A book with competitions, games, or tournaments. Where is it? Okay. Uh, a book with sibling rivalry. Oh. Uh, a book with a revenge plot. I've not read half of these books. I don't know if it's a revenge plot or not. I'm taking a very big guess. Uh, here comes the cavalry. So that is our, remember that, that's um, just when you think everything is lost, the cavalry run in and save the day. I have a potential cheat, but I really like it. Oh, everyone commented last time how delicately I put books back. That ain't working this time. Uh, a book with the Dark Lord, and that is a villain who is evil just for the sake of being evil. Uh, a book with an orphan protagonist. You can't see me, I'm sorry. Uh, a book with an orphan protagonist, right. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I think it counts. Uh, a book with a quest. Well, I've already used that, I don't want to use that again. Um, okay. uh, oh crap, where was that? Uh, a book with friends to lovers. No, you are not the right book. Uh, a book with a book loving character. know who loves books. Uh, a book with the amnesia troll. Oh, oh, I've just read it. Oh no, it's an e-book, it's a Kindle. Uh, okay. uh, a book with a magic school. Oh, for Christ's sake. Just, 
Does this count? Does this count as a magic school? I don't think it's going to count as a magic school. Uh, no, they won't be schools. I don't want to use that theory, so what do I do? boy character. Okay, uh, a book with a resurrection trope. I mean, this is going to be a potential spoiler, but stay there. You're going to be spoiled, look away. Oh, broke all my books, that's it, I blame you. Uh, a book with a redemption arc. I'm using the same series, but they're not the same book, so it should be okay. Okay, and a book with forbidden love. I want to say that'll count. I think that's it. So that is. Stop, stop! <sighs> All right, I, um, I've just paused you and you were six minutes 30. I started you at one minute, so that is five and a half minutes. So I'm gonna pause you again and I'll be back once I've got these books in order. And I think I'm gonna sit down and I'll do it sat down. <sighs> okay, still dying, but I'm sat down, it's all done. It's all good. So, the first book, A Love Triangle, which is a book with two love interests. I decided to go a bit differently to uh, fantasy because a lot of these tropes apparently only suit fantasy. Or they might suit others, but I haven't read any of the books. So I went for a book with A Love Triangle, Is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I've recently read this. It is about a boy called Aaron who is, he's got a girlfriend and he also falls in love with his best friend who is a boy. Um, so he loves them both. It counts. Um, then a book with enemies to lovers. I chose A Court of Thorns and Roses. For obvious reasons, our main characters start out as enemies, eventually fall in love. Then the chosen one trope. I wasn't sure if he counted as a chosen one, but I chose Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Because I would class Percy as a chosen one. He is told by Zeus, or he's not told by Zeus, but it's kind of a thing that Percy has to find the lightning bolt. So therefore, he would be a chosen one because he is told he has to do it. So I'm going to go with him. Then, a book with found family. I chose The Library of the Unwritten by A.J. Hackwith. I love this book so much, mainly because of the found family element. It's about a group of people, Hell's Librarian, her assistant, and then a devil um, who joins them on their travels. And I think their found family relationship is the thing that made this book. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, say this one. I'm still knackered. Then a book with grey morality. Probably one of the harder ones, but... The only reason I found this book is because I've literally just filmed my own haul, which is uh, coming on Wednesday, just saying. Um, and I chose The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Um, yeah, this has a character who is very morally grey, and that's as close as I could do it. Uh, there are probably loads of fantasy books on my shelves that I haven't thought of. But I'm really struggling with grey morality, especially for books that I haven't read before. I don't know if characters are morally grey or not. I ain't got a clue. But this is the one I went with. Definitely a morally grey character. Mm -hmm. Then there is uh, competitions, games and tournaments. I went, one, I went with one that uh, I haven't read, so I could be wrong. But I would like to believe I'm right based on the title. And that's The Game by Lindsay Miller. Uh, this was a book gifted to me by Liam, who is my amazing friend, Brooks Book's boyfriend. And Liam is obviously one of my friends as well. Um, 
I got this for my birthday from Liam, and it's the game, and it is kind of like a game. They play a game, but the game turns deadly, so I'm going to class it as suitable. Then there is a book with sibling rivalry. I chose City of Heavenly Fire. Contains sibling rivalry. It's the final book in a series, so I'm not really going to talk about it, but it contains sibling rivalry. Then a book featuring a revenge plot. I don't know for sure if this features a revenge plot, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it does. I chose Revenge by James Patterson and Andrew Holmes. I think it's a revenge plot. It's um, a story about an SAS soldier who is... Uh, a death of a young woman he used to protect happens. The police rule it as a suicide and he takes revenge on the people that got her killed. So yeah, it's a revenge story. Took a guess for the fact that it was called Revenge. It's fine. Then, uh, Here Comes the Cavalry. And that is a book where, just as all hope is lost, someone swoops in and saves the day. Uh, I chose The Saga of Darren Shant. There is a specific book. This is, a, this is one book in three. And I can't remember which book it is. I think it's the end of this one. Yeah, so that's book seven, I think it happens in, which is Hunters of the Dusk. And that is in here. Um, there is definitely a moment of Here Comes the Cavalry. If you've read this book, you know how that moment goes. You know what happens in that moment. But there is a moment. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Then there is a book with a Dark Lord, and that's someone who is just evil for the sake of it. Uh, it's kind of within the same world, but I went for the Saga of Lart and Crepsley book one, which is Birth of a Killer. There is a character in here called Desmond Tiny, who is Mr. Tiny, who is in charge of, like, everything. Um, and he is just evil because he can be. He likes playing games with people and playing with the fabric of reality and stuff like that, just because he can. So he is... A Dark Lord, in my opinion. Then, on to the final ten. Uh, the orphaned protagonist. I wasn't certain, I've not read the books. But, we got introduced to characters from the Dark Artifices in City of Heavenly Fire. One of our main characters in this book is orphaned. I know that, because I met them in a previous book. So... I know this contains an orphaned main character. Then there is the quest trope. I don't know. Uh, I've chose Heroes of Olympus, which is the lost hero book. Is Heroes of Olympus book one, the lost hero. I don't know if this contains a quest. I have never read it, but it's Rick Riordan. It's probably got a quest in it. So I'm going to go with it. Then I had a Friends to Lovers. I chose one of my favourite books. No I Can't Even by Simon James Green. It's got friends. They turn to lovers. It's great. Then a book loving character. Struggled with this one, but I thought of one. And that is A Series of Unfortunate Events, The Bad Beginning. Uh, Klaus, who is the one of the main characters, he does love books. And I think Violet probably loves books as well, but not as much as Klaus. So book loving characters in this book. Then there was the Amnesia Trope, and I found a book called Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. Never read this, don't know for sure what it's about, but I remember that when I bought it, I kind of defined it as 50 First Dates, but thriller. Um, yeah, every time she goes to sleep, she loses her past. She doesn't remember anything. So yeah, uh, Amnesia. Then A Magic School, this one was hell because I couldn't think of any books that had a magic school other than the obvious, and I wasn't going to use that. But I found one, randomly. It's not actually any better, to be honest, but it's a little bit better. Uh, I found Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. It does have a magic school. Then, a book with a bad boy character. I went back to uh, my Shadowhunter world, and I found Clockwork Angel, uh, Will Herondale is a bad boy character. Yeah. 
Then a book with a resurrection trope. There is spoilers in here. In the Mortal Instruments, if you have not read book one to three, look away now. There is a character who gets resurrected. Then there was a redemption arc. I chose another Darren Shan one, and this is the Vampire Destiny trilogy. And it is in The Lake of Souls, which is the first book in this, because this is three books in one again. Uh, the Lake of Souls, it does have a character who goes on a bit of a redemption arc, and I loved that story. It's an excellent story. Yeah, so that counts. And then Forbidden Love, I chose, right? I chose The Host by Stephanie Meyer, because I would class this as Forbidden Love, because it's not really allowed. For starters, the girl has a boyfriend, and then the other guy that fancies the girl doesn't fancy the girl, he fancies an alien. It's definitely forbidden. It counts. And that is it. So I did that in six minutes, five minutes, 30 seconds. Yes, five minutes and 30 seconds. I'll put the official time here just in case I got it wrong. But I did it in five minutes and 30 seconds, I think. And the time to beat was seven minutes and 20 seconds. So I smashed it. I'm amazing. Go me. Uh, and I'm going to tag some other people to get involved. So I'm going to tag Kat from Brews and Reviews. Ali from Ali and Books, Emily from Emily Kathleen Reads, Holly from Spoopy Hall, and Faye from Mystery Date with a Book. I would love to see if you guys can do this challenge, and I would love to see if you can beat my time of 5 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm really excited. So if you do this tag, make sure to let me know, and make sure to tag the original creator. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're going to do this tag. Alright, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I need a break before I put these books back. All right. Bye, guys. Safemusiclist.com. Royalty-free music for market.